Hey, reseller friends, it's Yvonne. I'm going to do the haul video now. It's kind of a big haul, so I want to talk about details and like what I think I'm going to list it at and you know some keywords. So if you are not new and you just want to breeze through the labels, um, a lot of times what I do in other people's videos when I want to watch a lot of people and I'm crunched for time, so I'll go down into the corner and there's um, the settings, a little cog, the settings, and you can set the speed. I'll set it to like 125 or 1.5, and then it'll just go real fast and you can just see the labels. But because um, I want to talk about, you know, some details for people, for our friends that are new sellers or new to selling clothing. Okay, so got a pretty big haul and some shoes. The shoes are still in the bag because I didn't wash, wash them yet, but if this doesn't go too long, We'll do the shoes too, okay? So we'll start with pants. This was interesting. This is Shape Effects. They have like um, spanks in them, like built in spanks. I don't know if you can see that. Like a stretchy half girdle that goes from here to about here. And it's a real nice ponte. These are size 10. I'm probably going to try these on. I don't think they're going to be long enough but i'm going to try them on because if i like them i can always go on ebay or poshmark and try to find them in a taller size and a longer inseam because you know i always say this i'm a tall girl but so i paid 5.99 and i have had this brand before i've sold their dress it was a really pretty long dress and it had like the built-in you know tummy tuck it was nice so i think Prices are all over the place, but I don't really pay attention to that all the time because you don't know condition, you don't know the knowledge of the seller or the desperation, you know, if they're on a money drive, the bills are due, who knows. These are in great shape, so I think probably, um, probably about 30, 36, okay? Let's see, we'll just put stuff here. Okay, and this is my first pair of Etro. I found a dress once. It sold instantly. It's been years. This is a really good higher-end label, Etro. So these are made in Italy, little chintz chino pants. They look like they're cropped. They're in a, what do you call this color? I can't remember. It's kind of a limish green. Oh, there's a certain name for this. Ah, okay, whatever. So um, $4.99 and 30% off. So three times five is $1.50 off. So $3.50. These are will probably start at about $60 or $80. Again, a high-end label. Okay, really great condition. $5.99. And these were on sale a little bit. Really great condition. Nike golf or winter sport pants not heavily insulated just lightly lined so i would say for golf or skiing or hiking um really great shape i'll find out more information about these um but i'm going to guess these are probably going to be around 30. that's where i'm going to start and some prana yes prana i'm an athleisure they do a lot of yoga and athleisure style outfits. Most of us know Prana by now. Not quite as expensive um, resale value as like Lululemon or Lorna Jane or Stella McCarthy, but um, these are in great shape. They're the, you can zip them off, so they're convertible cargo pants. Stretchy too, so great for athleisure, for hiking, maybe to studio training pants. So with this Prana, I'm gonna say, probably about $28, about 28 on those, really good. I'm trying to move somewhat fast. So I have sold this exact skirt a couple of times. Um, it's been a while, it's really cute, it's by Travel Smith. So on this, I don't buy these kind of peasant skirts all the time. Let's get this Travel Smith. I'll buy their jersey clothing, tops, jackets, pants, other things that they make because um, Travel Smith is great for, well, traveling because like less wrinkling. You just roll it up, less wrinkling, so it's great and lots of mix and match. 
is what they specialize in. So I don't do a lot of these kind of peasant fiesta skirts unless you know there's something great about them because I really don't want to sell anything under twenty dollars. I really don't. We won't get into that now. Um, so this is Travel Smith, and I've sold it before. It's in great shape. And it's the Fiesta skirt, and it's lined. So it has a lot of things going for it. I didn't bother to check what I pay for it, $4.99. I didn't bother to check to see where we're at on Travel Smith. Um, may, okay, maybe it's not $40 still, but I doubt if it's gone under $20. No way. So I'm going to guess $30 or $40. And I will put this on Poshmark as well. As a matter of fact, Everything I've showed so far will do eBay and Poshmark. I don't always cross post everything over to Poshmark, um, but so far everything will be cross posted. Uh, let's do these real quick. Um, I find quite a bit of this. I've showed you this label before. A lot of us sell it. Alberto Bacali, hope I'm saying it right. I don't buy all of it. It has to be in great shape and somewhat interesting, which all their pieces are kind of exotic, right? M most all of them. But on this one, how much was that? $4.99. Okay, not on sale. The reason I went ahead and did this one, this one's a little unique. I wish it was a bigger size, only a medium. But animal print, chains, and it's a tunic. And I don't know. Let me. I hope I can show this to you. This one's got a little bit special feature. See? with the layered, so I felt like this is probably gonna be about, I'm gonna try to start at 40. I think it's gonna be somewhere around 32, 36 is what people are probably gonna send me offers at. So, well, the ones that I'll accept, right? So, um, but I think that's a good flip. Oh, also this has studs on it too. I don't know if you can see that. It's got little bronzy studs. So, to me, no, I'll, elements to make it worthwhile to make you know contemporary elements to make it worthwhile i usually just stick to their jackets okay i don't know what all this exclusively miss hook i'm taking it easy miss hook i'm taking it easy on this stuff it's starting to be a little bit of a harder sell just like with eileen fisher gosh we have to be so careful again but this one's pretty contemporary looking right that's pretty cute the cow neck, the nice color block stri striping. Let's see, it was half price. When I rip it like that, that means it was half price. So $350. I'll probably start this uh, at a not not long tail, not quick flip price. I'm thinking about $40 and probably take around $36 or so, I think, is what I'll do this one at. Um, prices have come down a little bit on exclusively miss soup <laughs> okay i'm happy about this yeah talk about this one this is my first piece this was in the skirts let me back up wow that's really looking weird on camera this bright orange okay this was in the skirts and um so i was just you know doing my little quick you know looking and i see pretty fabric i see a little bit higher in crochet detail which is popular so i pulled it out and um, I'm like, well, this is a weird skirt. Why is it all open in the back? Is there something missing? Are you supposed to wear shorts under it? Well, it turns out this is a Lovers and Friends. It's kind of like for Love and Lemons. Not quite as expensive, but very, very close. And so, is that upside down? What's happening there? This is actually a top. Oh, my gosh. This is actually a little bustier top. And there's little puffy sleeves you can pull out. I thought they were pockets that you can pull out if you want, you know, extra protection to keep it from coming off. Or you can just keep them tucked in. So I think this will definitely go on Poshmark as well. That's probably where this will sell first. Um, I'm going to guess around, I know summer is almost over, but it's warm somewhere, everywhere. I mean, all the time, you know, it's somewhere in the world, it's still warm. So, or vacations or cruises, whatever, nightlife. So I think this will do about 40 or $50. It's my first time with this. So again, lovers and friends. And if you see anything for love and lemons, that get that too, definitely. 
um, uh, oh, whatever. Simply Vera Wang. Isn't this Kohl's? I usually pass it up. Some of it's really cute, but I usually pass it up. This was only $3.99. And I liked it because it was the crushed velvet. Crushed stretch velvet. It's got, you know, the tunic with the extra um, layer hem. So that keeps it kind of on trend right now. So I'm like, okay, pretty color. All these other elements going for it. $4. Okay. But I'm not real big on this, okay? And the same goes for this. Nygaard. Um, but they do make some pretty cool jackets and things like that that I'll pick up. But it's not real high end unless it's something really epic uh, not even close to high end sorry department store and a few specialty stores sometimes you can get 40 or 50 dollars for a nice jacket or something but just my experience in my opinion but this one was still new with tags so that made a difference to me so i went ahead and paid 5.99 i'm not 100 percent thrilled with that but 5.99 and other reasons okay Fake leather, vegan leather, leather pleather, <laughs> start over. Fake leather, vegan leather, or pleather. Um, little accents on each sleeve. It is a tunic. They did a somewhat open back, flat back, with a sheer insert. And it says on here that it's reversible, wear it front or back. So I'm like, okay, I think I can get about $28 for this. Um, I, I know the back isn't quite as scooped as the front, but they did scoop it down a little bit more than normal to accommodate their promise of, you know, reversible. So it's, it's cute, right? I just brand new with tags, some cool accents. Someone is going to love it. I think I can get about 28, maybe 30 for it. So we'll do that. We'll try that. We'll see how it goes. Most of you who are my friends, we know each other's stores. You can go in and look at sold and see, you know, how long it took me to sell something and what price. And if you're new, um, my eBay store is Mile High Scene, dots in between, Mile High Scene. Um, my Poshmark is so delicious. I've got them both in the bottoms of um, my videos, or you can follow me on Instagram, and I think they're on my link tree. I'm not sure. If you're on, and if you're new to watching and you are on Instagram, I hope you do go follow me. It's a pretty fun community over there, you know, just like any other social media platform. You got to find the good, got to find the good people. Okay, anyways, this is unbranded, or they cut the label off, but and a little late in the season, but that's okay. Again, it's always warm somewhere. This is really on point. So this will definitely go on Poshmark. I paid about $4 for it. It's a nice chintz fabric with the cold shoulder. <laughs> it's not quite my style. I thought about trying it on and going a different direction. It's a little bit out of my style, but I would have to belt it or something. But it is very on point right now very cute i'll probably try it on with those white shape effects pants i think that would be a cute outfit right but most likely i'm selling both most likely i'm selling both oh i love 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 when i find this brand tasha polizzi polazzi never heard it said she actually passed away was it last year this is always a winner so always get this her fashion house is going to carry on. Um, this Double D Ranch, always pick that stuff up. It's a good sell. This is just linen, but it's adorable. I will probably put this at about, um, her stuff for me, this type of jacket usually sells around the $40 to $60 range. I think I've sold some as much as $80. Blouse is around $40. This I'll probably start like $48, $56, $48. And it'll probably settle out somewhere around 42, I think. Okay. Eileen Fisher. Oh, everyone knows Eileen Fisher. I got this one because, okay, it's purple. It's purple. It's a cardigan. It was in good shape. It was $6 affordable. But we do have to be careful with the Eileen Fisher. So the prices are coming down on some things. But this should be fine. 
30, 40 dollars, I guess. Oh, I think I already showed this. I showed this. This should have been listed. This is actually from a different haul, so pardon me, but I'll show it to you. I listed this. I not listed. I showed you all this on Instagram um, when I found it. I was kind of excited. Five dollars. This is a roar, and I got a bonus that it's still new with tags from the buckle. It was regularly eighty nine fifty at the buckle roar men's shirt. So because it's fresh and clean, never been worn, new with tags. Probably, usually my men's roar shirts, I can get around $20, $28. So I'm real picky about it because I want to stay above $20 for sure. Um, I feel like anything in the $30 range is a little bit more worth our time, right? Our time and effort. So, um, but this, I think I should be able to get about 40 for this, I hope. 36 to 40. Hope, hope. Um, another Escada. I find a lot of Escada. That's a vintage Escada. Can you see it? Hang on, let me get this. Oh my gosh, I find a lot of this and I sell it. Okay, my camera is not happy. Hello. Okay, Escada. I think I showed my friends on Instagram just the other week where I sold that jacket that had sun damage. It was a velour jacket and it had the sun damage on the shoulder, the hanger damage. And um, I sold it with the buttons for about $36, just the buttons. So that was interesting. If you're new, keep that in mind. This is all silk, Germany. This will probably, I'll probably list this for about 50 and it'll probably sell for around 40. That's got it, always good. Hmm. Okay, Jessica McClintock. Um, she also does uh, the gunny sack. This is one of hers for gunny sack. Now, those little peasant dresses, we, most of us know to sell those little gun sack, is it gun sack or gunny sack peasant dresses that look like from the 70s, early 80s. Those sell really well. Um, a couple months ago, I sold two of them, I think, to the same person. I got around $60 to $80 for them, and they were real small sizes. This is more contemporary. But new with tags still, so $7.99, my half price, $4. Um, when I cut it like that, it's to remind me that it was on the half price, the 50 off sale. So this is kind of cute. So for $4, new with tags, got to try it. I'm guessing about $30, $40, probably under $40. Um, again, the little the peasant dresses um, do a lot better. Always get those. LuLaRoe. <laughs> LuLaRoe. Oh my gosh, are we all still doing LuLaRoe? Only because new with tags and it's like a cape duster, shrug, light jacket. I just sold a lace one for just under 40. So I will do things like this. I am totally passing on the leggings and the dresses unless it's an epic pattern. I'm it, no, I just Besides, most of the thrift stores are marking them up a little bit now, anyways. This one wasn't too bad. Where, what did I say? $6.99. Oh, only because new with tags, because I just sold one in lace, so I'm hoping this one will do well too. I'm going to guess around $30. Wild Fox. This is not the best Wild Fox by any means. I have the sleeves up like this to try to prevent those little hanger pooches. Ah because um, I already washed it. And so here's the tag. But yeah, those little hanger pooches, customers don't like that at all. So it's a wild box. You definitely want to pick up some of their stuff. Um, some of it's going to, some of their t-shirts with the graphics on it that are, especially if they're viral, you can get 60, 50, $60, maybe 80 for something really, really hot. This one is not going to be like that. This one is probably going to be about, $28 um, and probably will sell on Poshmark. $26, $28, but it's a wild fox. Good enough price, $4. I'm going to do it. Um, I've sold this before. American Eagle, soft and sexy. I pass on the short sleeves because I, again, I don't want to sell anything under $20. Let's stop for a moment. I will sell things under $20 if I get a lot of things. They're new with tags or something hot. 
and it's something that I can make one listing and I have 20 of them. You know, some kind of game, some kind of toy, some kind of cosmetic or lotion. You know, yeah, okay, then I'm going to do that. That makes sense, right? But just these one-off clothing pieces, I don't want to do. It takes, in my opinion, no less than half an hour is how I look at it. Each item, one-offs, at least half an hour from thrift store, to the client, to the customer, is how I feel. You know, that includes the buying it, you know, picking out, buying it, handling it, washing it if it needs washed, photographing, listing, packing it up when you sell. I feel like a good rule of thumb, half an hour. Okay, so I don't want to sell anything under $20. Um, okay, there it is. But this one will sell probably for around $24, $26. I think the last one did. This one's long sleeve and with the lace up. That gives it a little bit more resale value. Okay, this one's adorable too. I kind of wanted to keep the last one because when they say soft and sexy, they're not kidding. So soft. It fits really well. It's kind of like their jeans. I didn't get it. You know, I'm older, so I'm like, no, I'm not going to wear American Eagle jeans. You know, that's what the high schoolers are wearing. Okay, so I found a really cute pair at Ross, and I tried them on, and I'm like, oh, oh, okay. They're butt-lifting pants. They make your butt look cute. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. But still, I only have one pair. All right. Anyway, so that's that. <laughs> oh, this, I thought... This reminds me like a wild fox and oh, what are some of the other graphic tees? There are a couple other companies right now that are trailing behind wild fox and trying to do the high-end graphic tees. You know, they get the celebrities to wear them and like they just sell for a fortune and they're all collegiate all over the colleges and stuff. This one's unbranded, but look, it's pretty cute. That's cute. And you, I don't know if you can see it, but this is an iridescent prismatic metal flake it's all rainbowy it's a prismatic metal flake is that catching it i don't know trust me it's super cute i paid 250 i think i can squeeze about 26 28 dollars on poshmark ah, i'm gonna have to sell this one on style it doesn't even have a name i'm branded uh, $3.99. The reason this little thing that was in the sleepwear is this is Dolce & Cabana. So, believe it or not, this little Kiss Me camisole should probably bring no less than $30. I just sold a Blondie Dolce & Cabana t-shirt for about $30 something on Poshmark. She's a collector um, of Dolce & Cabana. And her son loves Blondie. You know, I'm talking about Debbie Harry from the um, 70s, 80s, no, 80s. Well, let's say 80s. I think she was the first person, the first white female. I'm not trying to start nothing, but let me just say it like that to do a rap on popular radio. I can't remember the name of it. Shame on me. Anyways, so no less than $30 for this. I'll always do some Dolce and Cabana. Ah, uh, free people. Okay, got to take it easy on our free people too. $250. The reason I did this, this is a Fisherman's Neck um, Henley. These are popular. Sometimes they put treatment on the end, the sleeve ends. This one didn't, but there's enough going on, and the price was right. Um, it's not the coolest one. Coolest one I've ever had, I let one of my daughters take, and it looks adorable on her. So I'm going to say this one, uh, 36, 38, a little bit more if it was, you know, had the sleeve end treatments, a little bit more going on, but enough to make some money. Ah, these were just some cheap dresses that I just thought were cute. I don't have a lot of um, the plus size, so I thought, okay, these were cheap enough, a few bucks, they're clean, they're cute. They were just Miss Tina and what's the other one? Gabrielle, just probably import names, but cute enough, I thought. So this, I just wanted to put some plus side things in my eBay store and in my Poshmark. Okay, so that's why I did that. They were just a couple dollars. I don't expect to get much more over $24 for them. But, um... This one's more on style, $6. I always buy the kimonos and the shrugs. There's nothing special about this name at all. High society. 
probably find these closeouts at Ross and Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Um, but this one's in good shape. The fringe is not that cheaper stuff. This is the more silkier fringe that lays proper, okay? So I will price this, use good keywords for certain subculture groups that like this kind of thing, and I will wait, and I think I can get um, $36, $38 for this. I know. I think I can. I'll have to wait a little while. I'm going to get offers of like under 30 for sure. Okay, these are, I bought these. These are Mossimo and Pure Energy, like Tart, what is it, Target. But they're all new with tags and they're still somewhat on point, okay? So, um, the celebrities were doing this look. Here, the celebrities were doing this look a couple years ago. So for those that I've talked about this before, for those that don't like to be on the bleeding cutting edge, you know, of fashion trends, and they kind of like to be in the middle, and then they even want critical mass, they don't feel like I don't know, they just need more people wearing a style before they feel comfortable to wear it too. Anyways, that's who will say, oh, I always wanted one of those. I feel comfortable. I feel brave enough to wear one now. I've seen enough people, cool people that I love, my friends wear one. So now they will come and buy this. So this will be a good alternative for them not to have to spend too much money to get that look that they wanted, that they saw Kim Kardashian wear a couple years ago. Because this is just Mossimo and Pure Energy. So probably these two, since they're still new with tags, I can probably get... Oh, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. I'm going to have to talk these up with the story. Um, I'm going to try to get about 30. That's going to be a little tricky. I'm not going to lie. But there's the reason why I have these. Okay. A um, couple little free people things. Only because they were cheap and they're cute little baby doll tunics. So um, one of my daughters took the last one. So that tells me that some of the younger girls are still liking these. So they were cheap enough, so I think I can get about just under $30. This one's actually cute. This one has a lot of detail. See? Look at that back detail. Yeah. So I wouldn't pay too much for these types of free people. Here's another one that I'm going to sell in style, much like the kimono with the fringe, okay? See? It's just unique, you know? You don't just run out to the store and get something like this. So there will be some subcultures that like this. Um, steampunk, reenactment, Victorian, Edwardian, whatever. So that's why I paid $4.99. And it's really cute. Just like a little butterfly top, right? A little shrug. Wear over something adorable. Okay, a couple Ralph Lauren jackets. Now this one is just Lauren, Ralph Lauren. It's getting pretty low in the hierarchy of you know labels that are expensive, but it's in good shape. I like the cut of it, and the main thing is it's slightly equestrian or western or lodge is what will go for this. See these buttons? Let me get that focus. I always pick them up with these buttons. Oh, that's horrible. Hang on, you guys. I'm sorry. Let's try this. Let me go slow and let it focus. See how these buttons have um, like little metal horse things in them. So if all else fails, it's another instance where you can sell the buttons. Um, as a matter of fact, if this one doesn't sell, which I'm pretty sure it will. It's a longer one. It's got some westerny detail cuts to it. So this will sell to someone equestrian, um, horse shows and whatnot. But if not, this one was cheap enough where I will take off the buttons and decorate something cool for myself. So that's why I bought that one. This one I bought because this is a black label. So that's pretty good up there. Now, let me say this though. Even though this is the raw form black label, this is a woman's. For some reason, the women's black label blazers don't command as much as the men's. Um, it'll still sell eventually when the right, the person with the right size finds it. Um, what did I pay? Eight dollars for it. But it would, I would be happy if it was a men's. It would sell for more if it was a men's. So 
on this, I'm going to guess about $50, $60. Oh, I was standing in line waiting my turn, and I happened to turn around and catch the end of this sweater sticking out. And I'm like, that looks like quality um, yarn. So I just ran over real quick and grabbed it, went back to my cart in line. And sure enough, it's a Lily Pulitzer. It's got two pulls. So I will just take my crochet hook from the inside and pull it back through and tie it off. And it will be fine. Other than that, it's in great shape. So this is a Lily Pulitzer. That's really cute. Um, I think on this particular one, this nice summer sweater, um, where they can layer it for other for um, other seasons. Um, this is really big, like in Florida and you know the southern warmer states. I think for this Lily Pulitzer, I've got some that I can't give away. Um, about 40, about 40. Uh, this is a specialty from a specialty store, Long Elegant Legs. I'm a tall girl, I buy these. I just sold a pink one on Poshmark just last month by the same company. So I'll buy their stuff when I find it. Um, long Elegant Legs, new with tags, sold in specialty tall shops or department stores with specialty tall sections. So the arms are gonna be longer. It's going to be a little couple inches longer in the torso for tall girls. So when they find the stuff, they usually love it. And I'll usually put tall girls somewhere in the title and talk about that. And sometimes I'll cross post it um, on Instagram because I use a lot of tall girl hashtags and um, interact with some tall girl clubs on Facebook and um, Instagram because I'm a tall girl. What is that? Okay. Uh -uh -uh. Let's get to some interesting stuff. Oh, I found some St. John. We're almost done. Okay, I found some St. John, some vintage St. John. So, okay, not the most epic St. John. This is vintage. This isn't really great, but this was only $7. So I think someone who's really into the St. John or into vintage will still get this. This is probably only going to bring me about 40 bucks. This little vintage dress. Now, <clears throat> definitely see the difference in the tag. Let me get this. There we go. Ah. Okay, we had it. Hang on, we had it. <laughs> okay, you saw it. Um, there's different St. John tags, and I think over in my Facebook group, Reseller Revival, in the files, I started working on all the different St. John tags in one of my files. I work on that when I have time. Anybody's allowed to, any member can go and add files too if they want to make some files to help all of us out. So this though, even though this is vintage, this is really cute. Basic black, right? The Santana knit, of course. And even though these sleeves are a little puffy, I actually think I can pull a little bit more out of this because, um, it's got a little classic with a twist, vintage -y flavor to it. Um, someone is going to die for this. I just know it. So $8 is a good deal. I think I can get a little bit more for this. I'm going to shoot for about $80. we are going to start there. I'm not going to take less than $60 because this is, has some interesting elements, even though this is way vintage St. John. And then one more. This one here, oh, two more. Look at me go. I forgot about that one. <laughs> a little cardigan sweater. Here's the other little St. John Essentials. Um, signature zipper pull. It says St. You know, SJ. A little cardigan, classic cardigan, kind of Jackie O style. The buttons, you know, say St. John. So that's always good. So this one, I think $5.99 I paid for. I think I might be able to get oh gosh it's so classic too and um let's oh gosh what size is it six or eight i'm gonna try to get 50. i think i can do that but now this one and here's yet another label okay look at this santana knit again 7.99 this is a nice duster length jacket you might could pull it off as a coat dress but i would say more of a jacket 
but look at the, let me back up. Okay, look at the nice length, right? So this one I'm gonna hold out and shoot. I'm gonna shoot for 80. Let's see what happens. Wish me luck on this one. So there we have it, four St. John pieces. That was kind of exciting, right? And all at pretty good prices. Oh, look, a kimono. There's no label on this. I paid half price, $4.50, but look, this is a genuine little kimono. I never have any trouble selling these kind of things. This one here, I'll probably start at about $45.50. I never, that will help me sell it a little bit um, more quickly. I never have any trouble selling these kind of things though. Um, especially like the fringe and the velvet burnout, little shrugs. I never have any problem. Okay, we're almost through this. Pendleton. I'm easy on the Pendleton, unless it's the um, Indian blanket, like jacket, things like that. Awesome. Um, but this one's kind of cool. So Pendleton. This one, a nice snap shirt, a men's snap shirt. I paid $5.99. Um, the pearl snaps, I said that. And it's got horses on it. Cowboy right by a bucking horse or something so that was enough to make me think okay i can get probably on a great men's size i think it's a 2x so i'm thinking i could probably get mm, 38 40 for this is what i'm thinking okay a couple more things this is pretty great burberry i just sold a burberry golf vest size small even on poshmark um, I sold it in two days. Lots of inquiries about it on eBay. I sold it for $110. So, and she already got it. She already gave me five stars. So here's a little Burberry, um, the Novacek pattern. Um, this is a woman's though. So this is a woman's career top, career blouse. So I'm thinking, what did I pay for that? $8.99. Okay. Nine dollars because it's Burberry. It's still nice, fresh, and crisp. And I think I can get forty or fifty for it pretty quick. Just a blouse, but still. All right, this was unbelievable. Three Robert Graham shirts, identical, all new with tags. All new with tags. All men's extra large. Now I paid fourteen ninety nine. I know. But being Robert Graham, I know that I will sell these. They won't sell as fast as a nice long sleeve shirt, no, but they will eventually sell. They have enough detail on them. They still have the contrast flip. It's not on the cuff because it's not um, long sleeve, but look, you can still do that to get the contrast, which Robert Graham is known for. And it's got the embroidery, what is that, a dragon? And all three new with tags and with the Robert Graham, of course, um, you know, one of the labels there. So, does it say truth? Let me see if it still says, it says that. Oh, yes. Hang on, let me show you this. Oh, it's clipped. I don't want to move that because that knowledge, wisdom, and truth is usually embroidered on these shirts, too, okay? Knowledge, wisdom, truth. Okay, so um, the retail price on these from the store was, what store had it? It was Steinmark. Steinmark is a specialty store in this area. I don't know where all else they're at, but they were trying to do it for $89.99. So I still think, even though they're short sleeve, um, they still have a little bit of contrast on them, all the other elements. I still think I can get. 50 bucks pretty quick and easy 50 60 i think i can still do that i know for sure i'm not going to get less i'm not going to sell them for less than like 36 so more than double my money so give it a try i didn't love paying 14.99 for them at all no i did not but i knew i had to get them they weren't going to make it till the, the sale color right when i was checking out the girl goes why are these so much what label is that? And I'm just like, oh, it's just new with tags. And then I just rolled it up real quick and put it in the bag because I'm like, I think they're having some of the cashiers watch us resellers and be like, okay, see what they're buying. <laughs> That's, I just think so. Okay, so that was good, right? Uh, a Dezinkel purse, pretty cute. Not real leather, but still cute and adorable. 
great shape. So I'm thinking on this because it's not real leather. I let me get up here for those that don't know Gazebo. Their clothing is great. They also sell bedding, which is epic. Really pretty. Um, a Spanish influence. I think the designer, if I remember correctly, is from Spain. It's not made in Spain anymore. I don't know if they still live there, but that's how it originated. That's why it's so colorful. And you'll see a lot of um, like big Mandela prints, things like that. So this is really cute. But because it's not real leather, probably only about $38, $40. But still super cute. I paid $6.99. I like last from the past type stuff, nostalgia. This was cute. Know what this is? That is the famous international sled dog race held held in Alaska. I did a rod. I did a rod 19. I like this one because it also has the spell out down the sleeve. And 3.99. So that's a yes. I think on this because this is vintage from 1991. Where is it at? 1991. Very vintage. And with all the flags on it. And then with the spell out, I think that's going to help me get a little bit more than average for this. So I'm going to shoot for a little over $30 on this, okay? See how that goes because of all the elements that I just explained. Okay, well, we can do the shoes real quick. You guys are still hanging with me. We can do the shoes real quick. Irregular choice. These are crazy. Always buy your regular choice though if they're halfway decent. So eight fifty. Um, I can't. It's hard. It'll be too hard to show, but it will say a regular choice on it, and you'll know because it'll be something crazy. It'll be some kind of crazy. I haven't cleaned these shoes yet. It'll be some kind of crazy shoe. You should um, go on eBay and do a search for irregular choice. Um, shoes and you'll see all the craziness. Um, you'll see some um, themes, some Disney themes, some Star Wars theme, Star Wars theme shoes, some Little Mermaid, unicorns, and then just crazy whimsical stuff like that too. And they sell for a lot. These little booties, I'm probably going to try to get about sixty bucks for on these. Um, I think I can with the metallic. This popular. Like I said in my thrift store fashionista video where I showed things that I bought for myself last a couple of weeks ago, we're still going to do metallic. It's going to be a little muted and we're going to do it in different areas. We're not going to do all the bling, but we're going to do metallic in different areas, which I showed like I picked up some metallic shimmer purses. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to shoot for somewhere around 68 is where I think these will settle out. The high heel shoes do better. These are some vintage Yves Saint Laurent. Aren't they adorable? I have my shoe forms in them. These have a lot going for them. The little um, granny booty style. Look at that heel. I have, I'll look up to see what that heel's, um, the shape is called. It's made out of acrylic, but I'll check the shape. Leather soles, Yves Saint Laurent. I think I can get a decent price for these. These are in good shape. There's not a lot of drag on the heel. They don't need new um, heel taps. They're still fine. No scuffs on the toe. The toe's not ruined at all. These are adorable. So I'm going to try to get about $60 to $80 for these too. Let me just see if I can pull this up here. I don't like this, okay? Okay, that's better. Um, boots. Steve Madden, all leather. Not the cheaper Steve Madden, all leather, and these are size 11. So I think I can get little rider boots, equestrian rider boots. So I think on these I can get about 40 or $50 on Poshmark. These are fossils. I haven't washed these yet. Okay, these are fossils. I saw them before, but I didn't get them, but then they went on sale. Where's the ticket? Oh my gosh, then they went on sale. Okay, so they were about $4. But look, wooden heel. Let me come in closer. My camera's not wanting to focus. It's 
Okay, that's a wooden chunk heel, chunk platform heel with metallic, I don't want to touch the bottom, with metallic straps. So again, I think, and they're fossil. So size eight and a half, I think I can get about $30 for those. They haven't been worn yet. These just looked expensive. I did not know. Oh, God, I can't touch my face. I did not know the label, but, but they looked expensive, so I looked it up. So, Sasha, London. Let's get my camera to cooperate. And so, the other giveaway was um, the leather sole and the nice heel. Um, so, this is a high, higher end label for sure. These are adorable. I think that I can get about $40 or $50 for these because of the label and the content. They're not man-made material. Those will go on eBay and Poshmark. Um, I pick these up, this brand up a lot. Natural Soul by Naturalizer. My camera's not there. So, a nice little comfort shoe but with a little bit of a heel wedge. And I love shoes that go in like this. They help make your foot look smaller when the heel goes in like that. So someone's gonna like this little comfort shoe for work. We have a little bit of a heel. Some girls like to look taller, they like that. Um, it's gonna be flexible sole. These were half price, so 350, and I think I can get about 28.30. Almost done. They had these just thrown in with the sandals for $1.99. These are Tevas. So I'm thinking on these. Um, this flip-flops, not good for hiking. So um, this Teva will be a little bit cheaper because, again, it's not like good hiking shoe by Teva. Just more flip-flops, but still cute. Some people are hardcore Teva fans. Um, it's a lifestyle brand thing for them. So I'm going to think this $1.99 I should be able to turn into just under 30 that shouldn't be too hard. Another pair of good boots. These are born all leather. Um, in great shape. No excessive drag on the heel tap. The heels aren't scratched. Nothing's wrong with the toes. I don't think anybody ever wore these. Look at that. Right? I don't know if I can pick this will pick up the... See, there's no drag on that. It's intact. So there's the, that, let me get this. This will tell you that they're borns. Whoops, that. And then of course, when you flip them over, yes indeed, they are. So, um, all leather, this is a great brand. New, these were probably a couple hundred bucks. So I think I should be able to get, I'm gonna try to get 80. Um, probably take a little less, cause you know, it's, sales are a little hard, lately so we do need to offer good deals so try to meet in the middle something fair for me something fair for the buyer and the last pair these <laughs> i don't know okay <laughs> i i bought them because they're a size 10 some platform chunky platform creeper style um nobody's worn these they were 8.99 30 percent off bumpers probably just an imported brand i didn't see a lot uh, of course, my face itches when I'm playing with shoes. I didn't see a lot. Um, nobody's worn these. These are still new. They're still absolutely new. Um, but I think I can sell these on style. So we're going to do that. Probably only get about just under 30 for these. The, the name is not the name is not there. All right, you guys. I started taking IKEA bags to the thrift store so that um to cut down on their plastic bag usage too i'm trying to do my part so all right i'm pretty happy with all this it's going to take me a while to get it listed well i hope you guys are having good sales again thank you very much for watching and i will see you later or on one one of your videos <laughs> bye you guys